They have always pronounced my name correctly. It is LaDonna. It is not Madonna. <laughs> and hopefully the differences between us are really obvious. Well, sure enough, the reporter came. We did the interview. It ends up in the Houston Chronicle. But rather than saying LaDonna is the baby sister of the Gatlin brothers, there was a typo and it read, LaDonna is the babysitter of the Gatlin brothers. <laughs> my dad married my mother the day after her 18th birthday on December 22nd of 1946. They got married out in West Texas in a little country church on a Sunday morning in between Sunday school and church. <laughs> Does that tell y'all what kind of wedding they had? Well, my dad was a blue collar worker in the oil fields of West Texas and mother was a homemaker, not to mention a baby making machine. <laughs> she gave birth to all four of us siblings in a span of only six years. Now, when the Lord said to multiply and replenish the earth, my little mother thought it was all up to her. <laughs> we live in an area that is marketed as a premier adult active community. That is code for you have to be old to live here. <laughs> Actually, you have to be at least 50 to live in this particular area. But what really drew my husband and me to this residential community were two sentences in their homeowners association bylaws which read, this is an age restricted community. Your adult children may never move back in with you again. <laughs> Not ever. My daughter came in, she's 33 years old. She came in a few years ago with a young man that she was dating at the time, brought him into our home, and he was absolutely clueless about what records were. In fact, as I think back on this occasion, I'm thinking this kid was pretty clueless about most everything, but don't mean to cast any dispersions here. He walks into our home, he sees two gold records hanging in the hallway there off our entry hall, and he looks at those records, looks back at me, and just dumbfounded says, whoa, dude, those are like the biggest CDs I have ever seen. <laughs> Just as those do re mis are absolutely basic and essential to music, I believe there are some do re mis, if you will, that are absolutely basic and essential to life. There are some principles that we can plug into our lives, practice on a daily basis, that will help us tune up our lives in a sometimes very out of tune world. Somewhere We If your life were a song, what would the title be? That's a question that only you can answer. And you might say, well, LaDonna, I don't really have a song. Well, maybe you can use the next few days at this conference to carve out some time and maybe ponder that thought a little bit. Here's where you might want to start. Live your values from the inside out and you'll find your song. Or number two, you might say, I don't really like my song. Well, maybe you might need to think about changing your tune. Or finally, you might say, LaDonna, they don't pay me enough money around here to sing my song. Well, folks, I just can't help you with that one. You're on your own. All I can say is, find your song and sing it. Because when you do, it makes the world a better place. Sing your song, and thank you so much for letting me sing mine. And the song will make hopes and